Welcome to my channel. I'm here to make you think. I'm here to enlighten you and show you things that I peep. But before I do that, can you please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? And be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you can receive notification the moment I drop a video. And I thank you in advance. <laughs> Welcome back. You already know what it is. Today I'm going to be exposing the pimping in the church. Talking about these pastors that's making all this money and not even really giving to their congregation and really helping others just really just living a lavish lifestyle. Scandalous, right? But that's what they've been doing. We're going to start with David Tyler. This is a pastor who was questioned on how he had been using the funds for the church. He was questioning he had to show proof of, you know, why all this money is coming out the church and, you know, what is he spending it on. And come to find out, he had been having a whole bunch of fun, you know what I'm saying, living it up, living a lavish lifestyle. Okay, owning huge properties, a whole bunch of cars, just living it up, you know what I'm saying, off the church's money, like a lot of pastors do. He's not the only one. There's others. They've been doing this for years. They are the pimps, and God, they're God's pimps, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no God, but since they want to worship somebody who they think, you know, preaches, you know, uh, the stuff they say about church and the stuff they say about the Bible, like, they're preaching it so much, you know, whatever. It's just all bullshit. They're God's pimps, okay? This man owns... A very lavish, lavish, he calls it a residential center. He called it a home, but it's a residential center, but he called it a home, which means he probably does live there, okay? And he said that this is a place where he teaches and trains people, okay? He just sounded like he was full of crap, you know what I'm saying, when he was saying stuff, you know? Because this man wants to live a lavish lifestyle, and that's what he's been doing. Now, why does he need a place like this this big to teach in, okay? You can just teach in a church or, or a, a smaller center, why? Okay, he spent six thousand dollars on Louis Vuitton clothes in 2013. She had all this stuff written down. Question him. He said the clothes were for TV. He said it made him look better on TV. So I guess he thought that Louis Vuitton is something that he needed to look good on TV. Now these are men that are supposed to be men of God. You know what I'm saying allegedly, but are they men of God? I mean, are they? I don't think so. I think they're their own men who just got in the business to make money because why in the world do you need $6,000 worth of Louis Vuitton just to preach on television as a preacher? You know what I'm saying? Also, spending a whole bunch of money on Versace. You know what I'm saying? He spent a whole bunch of money on Versace over there when he went to the Bahamas and stuff like that. Spending the church's money. He had spent $3,500 on Versace in the Bahamas, okay? Clothing spending on the church's dime. He claimed he's very frugal. That was obvious, like, did he need to say that? We know you're frugal, you know what I'm saying? You just have to spend all this money. It's really, really sad that these people live like that. He claimed that all this stuff is for ministry business purposes. But $30,000, $35,000, $6,000, come on, that's just ridiculous. He also likes the Gucci store. He buys belts and all that type of stuff. He says the belts look better on a uh, television. It's a better appearance for television. Come on, man. That's all you're more concerned about is how you look. That's all they care about. That's all they care about. Then he was asked about a thousand dollars, actually over like seven, like over seventeen hundred dollars, talking about um, you know clothing that he had bought in New York City. Yeah, like he didn't know what that was about, but I'm sure he knew exactly what it was about because you know what I'm saying he the one was spending it. He got BMWs, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm, I'm saying he has a BMW, he has a Mercedes Benz, and he has the nerve to have a Bentley. Now he claimed that all these things are in the church's uh, name, basically. He claimed they pay for all his car's expenses. He said that, you know what I'm saying, the church's ministry pays for his housing expenses and stuff, his car repairs. Why is he living a life like that? that that's ridiculous. Okay. He also owns a Ford um, Range Rover and stuff like that, just all kind of stuff. Fifteen thousand, fifty, sorry, $50,000 to limo land because he wanted to cut the Mercedes into a limo. He claimed it was for guests that come there, high-profile guests that come to visit. Like, who are you entertaining, celebrities? Talking about it was it was for the guests, and um, she, the lady asked him, you know, how do you think that the donators for your church, how do you think they feel about that? He said, you know, she said, do you think that you're using this for good use? He had nerve to say the bank was okay with it because they get a It says their appraisal value is at 200 k You know what I'm saying? So he cared more about the church, uh, the banks being okay with that. Very weird. He been using the church's money for all this stuff. He also spent six thousand dollars on a Disney resort that you see. Six thousand dollars, okay? They pay for all his expensive. He gets an allowance. This is all for the church's money. So, just wake up. I mean, it's okay to go on vacations and stuff, but not with the church's money. That's just scandalous. So whatever, Disney resorts, whatever. Kenneth Copeland, this motherfucker right here, another prosperity teacher, preacher. Sorry, 
fake teacher, but he's a fake preacher too. This man has a whole bunch of money. He claims he doesn't like to fly on regular planes. He has his own jet. He flies his own way, but so what? He's another problem. He just gets on my nerves. I just had to throw him in there. Mr. Creflo Dollar Sign Dollar. Okay? He preaches in the World Dome. He's another prosperity preacher. He has Rolls Royces, private jets. He said he'd rather, um, you know, have his own jet because he said that, you know, his schedule is too too big or too busy. And he's claiming that the airlines and stuff, you know, they're not on his time. Like, who the hell does he think he is? I can't even stand him. I remember one time I saw on uh, where Jeremiah Camaro had showed where he had lied and played us. Played us. And said that, you know, he had a video recording of, like, people that's supposed to be in hell. Now, we all know, I know, that hell is not a real place. But he had an audio of people allegedly screaming from hell. You know what I'm saying? Trying to scare his congregation. He should have saw a lick on his face. You know what I'm saying? He's laughing. You know, he didn't laugh. They tried to look serious. But I know after that damn congregation, I bet I'm sure after that um, church session, I bet he laughed his motherfucking ass off. And all for nothing. Because why? You know, Jesus is not even real anyways. You know what I'm saying? It's awful bullshit. I don't even believe they believe in what they preach. I just think that they like to get paid off people. They don't believe in that shit because they know it's not true. But they're getting paid because folks refuse to wake up. You know what I'm saying? You have to use your third eye. Please use your third eye. It's important. It's common sense. Thank you for watching. Don't follow these preachers.